Welcome, viewers, to a spectacular journey through the heart of London. I'm Kat, your guide on this immersive tour of one of the world's most iconic cities. Strap in, because we're about to unravel the magic, the history, and the vibrant energy that define London. Stay tuned for more adventures on my channel, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a front row seat to the wonders of the world. Let's stroll through the vibrant streets of this cosmopolitan metropolis where each neighborhood is a chapter in the rich narrative of London's cultural identity. London wears its history proudly, with iconic landmarks such as the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace, and the Houses of Parliament standing as testaments to centuries of monarchy, governance, and societal evolution. The city's museums, including the British Museum and the Victoria and Albert Museum, house treasures that span the globe and chronicle the history of human civilization. London's streets are alive with color and expression, thanks to the vibrant street art scene, and are a shopper's paradise, with renowned shopping districts like Oxford Street, Regent Street, and Carnaby Street. From luxury boutiques to quirky independent stores, London caters to every style and taste. Street markets like Portobello Road Market and Covent Garden Market invite you to explore unique finds and eclectic treasures. The Palace of Westminster, also known as the Houses of Parliament, is the seat of the United Kingdom's parliamentary system. Its iconic silhouette, dominated by the majestic Victoria Tower and the iconic Big Ben, is an indelible symbol of British democracy. As we approach, the grandeur of the palace's neo-Gothic architecture commands attention, hinting at the political dramas and debates that have unfolded within its walls. Designed by Charles Barry and Augustus Pugin, the Palace of Westminster is a masterpiece of Victorian Gothic architecture. Ornate spires, pointed arches, and intricate carvings adorn its facades, creating a harmonious blend of elegance and grandiosity. The palace's medieval-inspired design pays homage to the ideals of the Victorian era. Westminster Hall is the oldest part of the palace dating back to the 11th century. With its vast wooden roof and awe-inspiring dimensions, it has borne witness to historic trials, ceremonies, and state occasions. Continuing our journey through the walkable wonders of London, the next landmark along the scenic banks of the River Thames is the iconic London Eye. This colossal observation wheel is a marvel of modern engineering, offering unparalleled panoramic views of the city's skyline. As you amble along the south bank or traverse the Thames path, the gradual reveal of the London Eye against the backdrop of the river is a sight to behold. The sleek and modern silhouette of the observation wheel complements the historic charm of the surrounding architecture, creating a harmonious blend of old and new along the riverside. Approaching the London Eye during the daytime, the capsules, enclosed in glass for unobstructed views, glisten in the sunlight. The giant wheel stands poised like a sentinel, inviting visitors to experience the city from a unique vantage point. From the historic landmarks of Westminster, including Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament, to the sprawling cityscape reaching out to Canary Wharf, each turn of the wheel offers a new perspective on this dynamic city. As the sun begins its descent, casting a warm glow across the city, the London Eye becomes a radiant hub. The shimmering Thames, the illuminated bridges, and the sparkling city lights create a mesmerizing scene. It's a time when the city transitions from the vibrant hues of daylight to the enchanting glow of twilight, the illuminated landmarks, including St. Paul's Cathedral, Tower Bridge, and the Shard, form a celestial constellation against the inky night sky. On special occasions, the London Eye becomes a focal point for celebrations. Fireworks displays on New Year's Eve or other festive events turn the observation wheel into a revolving centerpiece of pyrotechnic delight. The Thames below reflects the bursts of color, creating a visual symphony that captivates onlookers along the riverbanks. After descending from the London Eye, the Thames path invites you to continue your leisurely stroll along the riverbanks. The gentle murmur of the water, the distant hum of city life, and the memories of the breathtaking views linger as you walk. As you venture into the streets of the City of London, the financial district, you'll witness the sleek architecture of skyscrapers like the Shard. This district represents the contemporary pulse of London, where global finance intersects with innovation, creating a skyline that reflects the city's position as a hub of business and progress. Gazing upward, the Shard commands attention with its unmistakable silhouette. Renowned as Western Europe's tallest building, this architectural marvel pierces the London sky with its glass-clad spire. The Shard serves as a symbol of aspiration and accomplishment, embodying the relentless pursuit of excellence in the world of commerce. 
Designed by renowned architect Renzo Piano, the Shard's sleek, glass-clad facade reflects the ever-changing London sky, creating a dynamic visual experience. The pyramid-like shape of the building not only adds to its distinctive profile, but also optimizes space, making the Shard a vertical cityscape housing a myriad of functions within its crystalline walls. Nestled amidst the architectural grandeur of the City of London, the Gherkin stands as a whimsical yet sophisticated addition to the city's skyline. Officially known as 30 St. Mary Axe, its more affectionate moniker, the Gherkin, is derived from its distinctively cucumber-like shape. This iconic skyscraper, designed by the talented architect Sir Norman Foster, is 180 meters, 591 feet, tall, with its cylindrical form gradually tapering as it ascends, culminating in a rounded glass dome. Constructed in the early 2000s, the Gherkin's construction was a feat of modern engineering. Its sleek, energy-efficient glass facade covers a steel frame, creating a visually striking exterior. While the Gherkin is primarily known for housing office spaces, its functionality extends beyond the corporate realm. The ground floor hosts retail spaces, while the upper floors offer a unique dining experience at the Helix and Iris, providing breathtaking views of the city. Greetings, dear travelers. Today, we find ourselves in the heart of London, surrounded by the pulsating energy of Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus is to London what Times Square is to New York, a buzzing hub of lights, theatres, and entertainment. The lively square is surrounded by theatres, shopping havens, and iconic billboards, making it a magnet for both locals and visitors seeking a taste of London's dynamic spirit. Piccadilly Circus is flanked by two of London's most famous shopping streets, Regent Street and Shaftesbury Avenue. Regent Street, with its flagship stores and high-end boutiques, invites you to indulge in a shopping spree. Meanwhile, Shaftesbury Avenue, known for its theatres and vibrant atmosphere, beckons with its unique blend of retail therapy and cultural delights. At the centre of Piccadilly Circus stands the Shaftesbury Memorial Fountain, a majestic Victorian monument topped by the winged figure of Eros. Find a comfortable spot, and let's indulge in some quintessential London people watching. Piccadilly Circus is a melting pot of diverse cultures, where locals, tourists, and artists come together to create a lively tableau. Witness the city's heartbeat as it pulsates through the bustling crowds and eclectic street performers. As the sun sets, Piccadilly Circus transforms into a twilight wonderland. The lights, the sounds, and the vibrant energy take on a new allure. Join me in experiencing the magic of Piccadilly under the evening sky, where the city's nocturnal charm comes alive in a symphony of colors and excitement. The beating heart of Piccadilly Circus at night is undeniably its famous electronic billboards, affectionately known as the Piccadilly Lights. Advertising messages, art installations, and digital creativity come to life, creating a dazzling visual spectacle that defines the essence of Piccadilly Circus after dark. Welcome to the iconic St. Paul's Cathedral, a masterpiece of architecture and a symbol of resilience that has graced the London skyline for centuries. This architectural gem, designed by Sir Christopher Wren, stands not just as a place of worship, but as a testament to London's history, endurance, and artistic brilliance. As you stand before St. Paul's Cathedral, you are beholding the vision of Sir Christopher Wren, the acclaimed architect who crafted this masterpiece in the late 17th century. The cathedral's iconic dome, inspired by the grandeur of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, soars majestically, making St. Paul's a pinnacle of English Baroque architecture. Step into the hallowed halls of St. Paul's, and you enter a sanctuary of spiritual tranquility. This Anglican cathedral has been a witness to significant events in British history. As you explore the interior, marvel at the intricate mosaics, elegant chapels, and the awe-inspiring dome that crowns the cathedral. Ascend the spiraling staircase to reach the Whispering Gallery, a unique architectural feature that allows whispers to travel along the gallery's circumference. It's a charming experience that adds an element of intrigue to your visit. For those with a sense of adventure, ascend even higher to the Golden Gallery atop the dome. The panoramic views of London from this vantage point are nothing short of breathtaking. The River Thames, the Millennium Bridge, and the modern cityscape unfold beneath you, offering a unique perspective on the dynamic blend of old and new in London. St. Paul's is adorned with magnificent stained glass windows and intricate artwork that narrate biblical stories and commemorate historical events. As you step outside, marvel at the exterior of St. Paul's. 
the grand facade, flanked by imposing Corinthian columns, is a sight to behold. The cathedral's majestic presence is complemented by the beautiful gardens and the iconic dome that dominates the skyline. Welcome to Buckingham Palace, the epitome of regal splendor and the official residence of the British monarch in the heart of London. Buckingham Palace's history is as rich as the tapestries that adorn its opulent halls. Originally built in 1703 as a private residence, it was later acquired by King George III in 1761. Designed in the neoclassical style by architect John Nash during the 19th century, Buckingham Palace is a marvel of architectural finesse. The majestic facade, adorned with Corinthian columns and intricate sculptural details, reflects the elegance befitting a royal residence. The iconic balcony, where the royal family often makes public appearances, adds a touch of ceremonial grandeur. Take a moment to appreciate the serenity of the Queen's Gardens. This beautifully landscaped oasis provides a picturesque contrast to the grandeur of the building. The lush greenery and carefully manicured flower beds create a peaceful retreat in the heart of bustling London. Constructed between 1886 and 1894, Tower Bridge was designed to meet the city's growing demands while allowing tall masted ships to pass beneath its central span. The architects behind this engineering feat crafted a bridge that not only addressed practical needs but also showcased a stunning blend of Gothic and Victorian styles. The bridge is an iconic symbol of London that gracefully spans the River Thames, connecting the historic boroughs of Tower Hamlets and Southwark. Tower Bridge is a masterpiece of Victorian engineering, an architectural marvel, and the symbol of London's resilience and elegance. The most distinctive feature of Tower Bridge is its bascules, or drawbridges, which can be raised to allow river traffic to pass. The mechanism, powered by steam engines during its early years and now by electricity and oil, is a testament to Victorian engineering ingenuity. The two towers, each reaching a height of 65 meters, are connected by high-level walkways that provide panoramic views of the city. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today. If you enjoyed the content and want to be a part of our growing community, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our upcoming videos and be the first to dive into exciting new content. Bell don't forget to ring the notification bell too, so you never miss a moment. We're building something special here, and I'd love for you to be a part of it. Your support means the world to me, and I can't wait to share more stories, tips, and experiences with you.